Perform a scene survey and make sure everyone is safe. Ask what happened to learn the history of the incident. Identify yourself as a first aider and offer assistance. Perform a primary survey. Airway and breathing are easy to check by asking where it hurts, but check for shock by checking the skin condition and temperature and do a rapid body survey to ensure there are no other serious injuries. Instruct someone to steady and support the injured leg. Expose the injury and examine the leg. A closed fracture may show bruising, swelling, and an abnormal shape to the bone. Compare the area to the uninjured leg. Is there tenderness at the fracture site and pain when the foot is moved? When a fracture is suspected, the casualty requires medical attention. Make sure someone is calling for help. If an ambulance is coming, provide ongoing care. Immobilize their injury. If you must move the casualty, then the injury must be immobilized to prevent further injury. First aiders should consider transporting a casualty only if the injury is not life-threatening, when the first aider is a family member, transportation is not a risk for the casualty and the first aider, and medical help is delayed or cannot be reached. Perform a modified secondary survey. Take a sample history and record a baseline set of vitals. Perform a complete head-to-toe exam to rule out other injuries. Check the distal circulation by comparing the temperature and color of the toes on the injured side with the uninjured side. Slide bandages under the casualty using the natural hollows of the body. Tie off bandages starting at the stable end and work toward the feet. Use a figure eight bandage at the feet. If splinting materials are available, place a padded splint on the inside of the injured leg from groin to below the foot and another padded splint on the outside of the injured leg from armpit to below the foot. Compare the temperature of the foot on the injured side with the uninjured side. If circulation is not impaired, cold should be applied continuously to help reduce swelling and pain providing the casualty can tolerate the added weight. Check circulation often. If the upper leg swells, circulation may become impaired. Give ongoing casualty care until handover to medical help. Repeat the vital sign check if they are stable.